Everyone wants to sew a design that is as efficient as possible with the fewest number of duplicated colors, especially if you only have a single needle machine. Colors may be repeated in a single design due to layering, to optimize registration, or haphazard planning. Another common reason we have repeated colors is when we've combined multiple designs in one hoop. Hatch can optimize design colors by reducing color changes to a minimum while maintaining color layers with the Optimize Color Changes tool in the Customize Design Toolbox. This tool does not require selection and it applies to the entire design. If we look at the Design Information tab here, we can see that this design has nine unique colors, but it has 17 stops. Now stops means how many color changes are in there. If the design had no repeats, you would see eight stops. So when there are no repeats, the number of stops is one less than the number of colors. So let's see what happens if we click Optimize Color Changes. Hatch looks at the design and then it gives us a report. The number of color changes cannot be reduced any further. That's because this tool is smart and it won't resequence colors that are layered. I'll click OK. When we look at this design, for example, we can see white here that is behind the moon, white that is on top of the moon but behind the baby, and more white that is on top of the baby's little sleeper. So the digitizer has already optimized this design. Let's look at this design. This design has five unique colors and 13 stops. But we don't have any overlaps here, so we could optimize the colors on this design. Let's look at it on the sequence docker. You can see that I've just typed in this word and I've broken it apart so I have individual letters. And it's just typed in the way we would read it. But just because we type that way doesn't mean the design has to be organized that way. So I'll click Optimize Color Changes, and now we get a message that says, this operation will reduce the number of color changes from 12 to 4. Do you wish to continue? And I'll say yes. And now we can see that they're all optimized, and we only have one change per color. Now you do need to use caution when using this tool when you've combined multiple designs, especially if you're working in a really large hoop. In a nutshell, the reason is that you can compromise registration and start having objects that no longer match up after stitching that way. Large hoops and more stitching means less stability. And if you do all the interior work and then you have outlines around a whole lot of different things, those outlines are probably not going to line up.